is a lot said about uh, youth, innovation, and the topic too, I was just gently reminded that youth and innovation are going to be the propellers of uh, India's economic growth. <coughs> I thought it was stating the obvious. And to have me elaborate on it would be a very difficult task, especially because even though they, they were policies even earlier, and there were very many attempts from the youth of India since, I would think, distinctly after 1991, when uh, the youth of India saw a possibility of contributing to the Indian economy directly because prospects opened up. But somewhere on the course after 1991, for various reasons, I think the environment was not so conducive and many of our youth, like the youth before 91, saw prospects being elsewhere. And that the contribution, however distant or tenuous it was, kept happening from Indians living abroad and contributing majorly to science and technology. But I would think since after 2016, when the stated policy for promoting and actively in, in encouraging startups, we see the energy back again among the youth of India to see that it is possible to be here and it is possible to carry on with those kind of thoughts and ideas that the youth want to see bloom and also find strikingly good scale-up propositions. So I see between 2016 and distinctly till 2021, a ramped up energy working in the youth of India because any time prospects are being looked at, there are two types of prospects we are talking about. One at a personal level where somebody who wants to contribute to the Indian economy in the sense wants to make a good career for herself or himself, sees the system, the governance, and also the way in which institutions function as one of the very important instrument with which you think you can either be here and do things or be somewhere else and do things and so on. So the prospect at a personal level for your careers to work out. The next would be, which is equally, what you would take on board while making a decision is the prospects which come out of policies which are either enabling or which are deterrent for good ideas to work on. So, when you saw the latter in the opening of, of Indian economy in 1991, individuals who had the propensity to really contribute thought, yes, a lot of things are happening in India and there is this hope which was working on. But as I said, as we went along, somewhere some kind of hindrances came and the same prospects didn't appear, although personally you thought your career could be built on those fantastic thoughts and ideas which you wanted to do in India. But post-2016, when the, when the policy was distinctly made for startups, and the government was actively engaged with the state governments as well to open up and to help out. That kind of a prospect came back to individuals. So both your personal career choices and also the way in which governments were enabling and facilitating youth to be here, do things, and in the sense of getting the commercial prospects also added into it. Your thought remains just as a thought or your help you are able to come out with a thought to bloom and then you are looking at the ways in which governments 
head to scale it up or to find find funders or people who can quickly take your papers, which includes therefore even things which are normally very distant for the lay administration as in patents, your your ideas getting registered, getting the approval, the trademarks, the patents are all important instruments or step in the way in which you can move forward. So the simultaneous with 2016 development of ideas for bringing startups to you know flourish in India, where the policies on uh, intellectual property, the ways in which we wanted to have that simplified, the long waiting list that always deterred people from applying for patent rights here, were all eased off. And there were immense data which I periodically used to show how the waiting list on patent uh, registration has been brought down. So these are enablers which made the entire ecosystem a lot more easier, friendlier, and as much as you can achieve by being on outside, you're able to achieve by being within the country. So not just a policy to facilitate, not just funds which can be used for leveraging, you know, fund from the market, funds which can be given for startups at the initial stage as they progress further. So the entire, and also when uh, the Honorable Prime Minister goes outside of the country to talk with governments outside, to see if their young will work together.